Martine was digging for rocks by the pond. To her surprise, she found an egg instead. She decided to keep it. But what would Mother say? Unsure about the response, Martine hid the egg in her bucket and covered it with dirt and dry leaves. You're back home early, cried Martine's mother from her bedroom. What did you find? Oh, just more of the same thing, sighed Martine, trying to sound persuasive. I think I'm going to take a bath now. Have fun at the party, Mother. Right. Good night, Martine. Sweet dreams, said her father. The next morning, Martine quickly jumped out of bed and peeked in her closet where she hid her new treasure. To her horror, the egg had cracked and whatever was inside was gone. She searched her closet frantically with no luck. Martine sat on her bed in disbelief when out of nowhere she heard a tiny squeak. She turned around and saw a tiny lizard crawling out of her sheets. Oh, wow, she cried. What will Mother think of this? And she introduced herself. I'm Martine. What's that? You want to be called Pete? Pleased to meet you, Pete. That night, Martine made a bed for Pete in her doll's cradle, and the following week, she and Pete created a playground by the pond. What a joy it was taking Pete to all of Martine's adventures. One time, Martine snuck him in Mr. Pierre's cooking class. It was a breeze until Pete smelt the flavorful, flavorful aroma of French onion soup and was so enticed that he almost jumped into the pot. Another time, Martine took Pete with her to the plaza while her mom was shopping for a gown. What, a, what gorgeous gowns her mother tried on. Martine thought that one day she too would wear a gown to a, day, a gala. And Pete thought the lace on one of the gowns was a fancy kind of lettuce that might be rather tasty. But it was not exactly to his liking. Did he For weeks, Martine was able to keep Pete a secret until one day she realized it was time that the family met him. But there was to be a party at the house that night for father's friends from the university. So be it, exclaimed Martine. She decided that Pete would come to the party too. That night, Martine introduced Pete to everyone. All the guests thought he was charming. I love your costume, Pete. It looks so real, said Mrs. Penelope. Pete thought that Mrs. Penelope was charming too and asked her to dance. All was well until dinner time. Pete had gotten so hungry from all the dancing that he decided to eat a whole plate of filet mignon in one huge gulp. Everyone was stunned. Then one of Father's friends gave Pete a closer look. Amazing, said Professor Malta. Martine, could I invite Pete to the lab for an hour or so? I'd like him to meet my friend. He meets Professor Grace. Everyone at the laboratory was full of awe when they met Pete. Martine could hardly understand much of what they talked about, but at the end of that morning, they started calling him a long name that she could not even pronounce. Later on, she found out that Pete was an extinct form of reptile. From that day on, there was absolutely no way Martin could ever keep Pete a secret. He was all over the papers. The authorities thought that they could find a better place for Pete to live in. But Martin was not so sure. 
Other plans. So on the night before Pete was to be taken away, Martine packed him and all of his belongings in a box, hailed for a cab, and headed for the airport. Martine thought she would like to spend the rest of the summer in that new island that one of father's other's other friends discovered. So that's where she sent Pete. Does she look sad? Does she look sad? <laughs> Two weeks later, after the paper said that Pete had run away and was probably captured by bandits to be sold for a fortune, Martine's father and mother took the next flight to Secret Island, and there they were reunited with Pete. The end. That's Pete's favorite picture. Thank you.